Like Derek, I have a fondness for older Nickelodeon cartoons. However, given the fact that he's 10 years older than me, older is a relative term. To be honest, Spongebob was one of the last great shows on the network, and like all great cartoons, it had to have a horrible platforming game to go along with it. This is Spongebob Squarepants, Legend of the Lost Spatula for the Game Boy Color. The story in Legend of the Lost Spatula is best described as predictable. Spongebob finds some weird statue, then Mr. Krabs tells him about all of the money he'll make, or how Spongebob will be a master fry cook, and then it just sends Spongebob off on his adventure. Yeah, you know, there really isn't any right way to write a story for one of these things. It's just a horrible task to be given. Here, write a story for a funny TV show that can't be funny because it all gets lost in the translation to text. Fantastic. I bet that really helped move this guy's career forward. Legend of the Lost Spatula is a platformer, like most cartoon-based games seem to be. Also like most cartoon games, it's absolutely horrible. This is mostly due to the controls, which are the stiffest I have ever experienced on a Game Boy game. Instead of giving you complete movement of Spongebob, the game seems to make you decide where you want to jump before you ever leave the ground, so directing yourself in midair is pretty much impossible. The game also suffers from a very high difficulty level. You can tell that the game shouldn't be hard. In fact, if the hazards in this game were in, say, Super Mario Bros., it would be really easy. But enemies have hit detection that is so bad that it makes you want to throw your controller at the wall. For example, if I'm even relatively close to a flying shell, it hits me. But if I stand on a platform that lowers down into an enemy's head, yes, INTO an enemy's head, it doesn't hurt. I don't know why this is, it's like they didn't even test it before they put it on the store shelves. If there's one area of the game that is actually done very well, it's the presentation. Sure, the story's stupid, but cutscenes at least look like the TV show. This is actually more of a nod to the power of the Game Boy Color than anything else. That system could do some impressive stuff. Visually, SpongeBob SquarePants Legend of the Lost Spatula is actually not terrible. It does look like the TV show, and character sprites are all crisp and clean. In addition, if you don't move SpongeBob for a few seconds, he starts to dance, and there's a bunch of different dances he can do. Watching the dances is actually more fun than playing the game. Audio is a pretty big letdown, though. There's no SpongeBob theme song, not even a little electronic one, so get ready to hear a bunch of mediocre tunes play over and over again. They tease you, too. They have the captain on the opening screen, but he doesn't start singing. SpongeBob SquarePants Legend of the Lost Spatula is a perfect example of why TV shows should not be made into games. If the creators of SpongeBob wanted to make him a video game character, they wouldn't have made him a television character first. Please, please, please do not play this. <laughs>